Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Gorilla Cart with run flat tires. So the main reason I like this is for the tires. The tires are not gonna go flat. They don't take air, they're solid. They're easy to take on and off. It rolls really easy. It's got a handle that I can use and I can also hook this up to my mower by taking that clevis pin out right there. I'm gonna show you how to do that. The sides all come off so it does lay flat, but it's just very maneuverable and rolls really easy. Okay, so if you wanna take the sides off, you're simply gonna lift these clevis pins up like this. All four sides can come off, rotate it, and then it comes out. So very, very simple. Put it back on, rotate it up, put this in, and this on. And that holds true for all four sides. Now, if I wanna hook this up to my mower, take this pin out right here. The handle's gonna slide down. Now I can hook this up to my mower and, and pull it around with my mower, and all I gotta do is put is all I gotta do is reinsert that pin in between my mower and the there. Okay, so to assemble it, you're gonna need a half inch, 15 16 and a 7 8 socket. Okay, so some rough dimensions. So it sits up high, right around 21 and a half inches tall. So inside, left to right, you're looking at about 19 and a half inches. Depth-wise, inside, nine inches, maybe nine and a quarter inches. So front to back on the inside, 38 and a half inches. The handle is approximately about 26 inches to the clevis pin and then another eight inches. Okay, so here's everything unboxed and I'm gonna show you how to assemble it. So here's the instruction manual. We're gonna go step one and then we're gonna cut out all of the parts in step one. Okay, so the front axle goes on like this. You gotta put that yellow thing uh, facing like that, a washer and a nut. Now this is 15 16 The back ones are seven eighths, so they're two different sizes. Now this one, you don't wanna tighten it all the way down. You want it so that it can still swivel, but if you tighten this too tight, it won't swivel. The back ones you are gonna tighten down. Okay, so the next step, you're gonna attach this piece with these long screws. The washer goes on this side and that those are gonna sit down in kind of a square recess and that's what's gonna hold that side of it. And those nuts were half inch. Next, we're gonna put all four wheels. So there's kind of this area that's raised right here. Put that on towards the axle. And on this side, you're gonna put a washer. Then you're gonna find this pin and snap it across. That's what's gonna hold the wheel into place. Do that for all four. Okay, so now set it on all four wheels. Then you're gonna put this handle on like this. Again, this is half inch. You're gonna tighten this down, but don't tighten it so tight that you can't move the handle. Okay, so next, slide this handle on. Now, when you want to hook it up to a wagon, you're just gonna slide this down. And now I can hook this up to my lawnmower and you can use this pin and clevis that come with it. Otherwise, you're gonna, if you wanna use the handle, slide this up, line up the holes, and then put the pin and clevis through there. So here I've got the pin and clevis through. Now I can, it's got a nice handle. So that everything should move freely, but not be super loose. Okay, so ne now next put the sides on. They're very simple. They've got these little clevises here. You're gonna move out of the way. And they go like this. So you're gonna put those tabs in, all four of them, all four sides go in the same. And then tilt it up, and then put this like this like that. So I'm very happy with this gorilla cart. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.